Hello to everybody. Roberta, uh, I work in this uh, research center at BK of Technologies, but uh, I have uh, a big passion, and this passion is my job, uh, about open knowledge. And everything about open knowledge now is my job, and uh, is my, my, my best topic. My best job. topic so are open data, and open street map is one of the, the best cases that I like to speak around uh, the world. If you go to the website openstreetmap.org, you find uh, this map. And uh, maybe if you are very naive, you say, okay, it's like Google Maps. But if you look, if you have more attention and you read the map, there is an important word here, the edit. And this means that you can change what happened inside the map. This is because uh, OpenStreetMap is a project like Wikipedia. In, uh, the goal is the creation of the free map of the world. But it's not totally a free map. It's a collection of geographical data to create a map. It's a different approach to have a map. And what I like a lot in this kind of uh, presentation is it's made by people like you, because it's a crowdsourcing project where everybody can participate. The story is uh, in these different milestones. I like the, the, these four steps. Uh, 2006, uh, uh, the born of uh, the, uh, the OpenStreetMap Foundation, a foundation related to ensure the project. 2009 is uh, a very important moment in the story of OpenStreetMap because uh, Kibera. Kibera is a slum in uh, close Nairobi, 100,000 people. And uh, it's a place that nobody knows where it is, uh, and there is no map. But with the power of OpenStreetMap, open the people can create the map. And now the, the world knows where it is in uh, Kibera. 2010, uh, there is a, another important milestone because the company Microsoft, uh, with Bing, uh, the, the, the father of OpenStreetMap, Steve Cost, moved in Microsoft, and for this reason, he asked the user of the uh, area, uh, satellite photo images uh, to track inside OpenStreetMap. This is a big improvement uh, in the project. 2012, uh, there is uh, one of the best topic here because I am uh, I have, I have this passion, but I am not a specialist in IPR, but it's one of the best topics for this kind of public, is the, the, the movement to the license of DBL. Mm -hmm. Now, in the project, there are more than one, as one million of people involved to create this kind of map and collect the data. If you want to contribute to the map, it's very easy. There are five steps. The first two steps is the collection of the data. And the collection of the data, the first tool for to collect the data are the people. And the people use different kind of tools. And uh, if you look at this slide, it's very easy to understand that each different tool is a tool to record information, to uh, remember a place uh, and other. There is one very, very funny, this recipe. The boys, uh, where the people extract information from each possible information that find each, each tool possible to find around. For example, from here, you can have the kind of activity of the shop, the address, the number, and other. And I think it is very funny to understand better what happened behind the open street map. Later, there is a problem. I have collected the data, and the problem is understand the kind of data. Use a different kind of taxonomy, and they have a different kind of um, primitive the primitive are node are, uh, is a point with the coordinate. Together, we can create way. And the relation is a special kind of geometry. is not a geometry. If you want to create, for example, the path of the bus, you don't need to uh, draw again everything. <coughs> you have only to say, uh, from node to node, where is the path of the bus around the street of the city. You have the, the geometry, and later you have, you have to explain better what is this kind of geometry, and you use the tags. There is a taxonomy, in this case, public transport, and for each public transport, you have different cases of use. For example, platform, station, stop position, <coughs> and, that. and for each, you can use different kind of geometry, and use this kind of tags. You can add more tags for each geometry, for example, a public transport station, you can uh, add name and the name of the station. This kind uh, of uh, collection is created uh, always uh, bottom up. The people can put what you want. It's only the community to manage everything inside uh, a wiki page uh, to, uh, to say what is official and not official. 
later, you have to understand what are your data, you have to put the data inside the system. You can use different kind of application. There is this kind of application directly on the web browser where you can look the data and improve the data. For example, change the name, there is a mistake in the, in the data and all that. Or you can track information from uh, satellite images, but you need uh, the permission to do this. Another very nice system is this. Uh, uh, you collect the information about the, about the paper. You have these uh, field papers. You select a, a, play, a region in Italy around the world. You have this special QR code with a different point. And you can write over the paper each information later. You collect everything inside your computer. And uh, where is uh, this, uh, this place in the world is very easy for the computer to understand. And you can extract the information and recreate again the database, improve the database. After the data are inside OpenStreetMap, uh, there are a lot of tools, there is a big chain to create maps. If you look, this uh, map, there is a, on the left, uh, there is the map in OpenStreetMap, uh, and here there is the map in Google Maps. The place is here where we, where we are now. And then you can understand that there are more, more, more details here. I don't want to say what is better between these two kinds of maps. But what I want to say to you is the collaboration of the people to create this map. Maybe the, the, the map of Google Maps is better for, to understand. But if you look, there are, for example, the tree and other kind of information. If you have the data, you can transform the map in different, create a new kind of map. This is the concept of open data. I have the open data, you can, you can do what you want. This is a map created from a company in um, San Francisco. And uh, this uses a different technique to create a watercolor map in each place of the world. So again, we have the same place, or where is the university in Trento, and another kind of map. It is the same if you can create, a, you can move in 3D, and then again, a map of the world, because if you have the map, with the data, you can do what you want. <coughs> okay. This project uh, is very famous around the world uh, and is very useful to help people. One of the big, uh, big stories is, is uh, IET, after the earthquake, uh, was not present a map, data to create the map. Uh, and the people around the world, uh, by using our satellite images, start to create the map. This kind of map was used by the, the people to help the other people. And we don't need to go so far away from uh, from IET, because uh, in the last day in Sardinia, the OpenStreetMap community started to create the same to help the people. Another uh, case, sorry, but I'll go. And if you have the data, you create, can create a different application again. Some application is very easy to understand because you have geographical data, you need a uh, software like Tom, and you can have this. For example, this Osman is open source software, and with this kind of software, you can uh, go offline without using the network uh, because you have the data inside. This kind of application, Matosmatic, uh, you have to choose uh, a region, a city, and this creates for you a simple infographics, a paper where in a place there is the map, and under the paper there are all the information for each street. Or you can have uh, a map for orienteering, but uh, from the from the application, for example, I like this Comut. This is an application, this application used only OpenStreetMap data and uh, Wikipedia. And for me, for example, I asked it to do a tour in Trento from uh, the, the Faculty of Economy to the Castello Buon Consiglio. And this suggests me different kind of <coughs> path where you can go. And uh, also, uh, what is the strain, the stress uh, for this kind of activity. Later from the data, it's possible to go to the things, uh, and you can have, uh, there is no, no stop for the imagination, what you can do, because it's very easy to think about maps uh, on the paper. This project is very nice because the province, the province of Udine used the data to create a roadbook for the bikers mm -hmm. by using only OpenStreetMap data. There is a company, you choose a place, uh, and this sent to you, um, this sent to you, this uh, like is uh, the blanket or Michelin start to use the data of OpenStreetMap to create a different kind, but there is not stop for imagination. 
For, in this, for this reason, I like to use OpenStreetMap is one of the best example of open data ecosystem. If you speak about open data, you have no, there is not only the public administration. The public administration has a big role inside this ecosystem. But inside OpenStreetMap, you can find different kind of data. For this reason, I show it to, to you different tools to add data inside OpenStreetMap. And everybody can participate and create these commons for everybody. But now there is a problem. It's not a problem. It's a, a project, a crossroads project, a project of the community, and the, pro uh, the community want to preserve the goal. So what is uh, what we want to preserve? We want to preserve the database. OpenStreetMap starts uh, in 2006. <coughs> the and copy from Wikipedia and use the same kind of license Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike uh, 2.0 but this kind of license is not good uh, for the data in this kind of version the 2.0 and uh, the people of OpenStreetMap begin to ask but it's good for us we want to protect the database we want other people and us to improve the project and what is possible if, for example, in USA there is not database right, how we can defend the project? And uh, for this reason, in 2009, started the license working group. And uh, start with the problem, why CC BY is not good for us? And there are a lot of problems. For example, from the, from the database, I create a map. This kind of map, which kind of license is created in on attribution share alike, maybe, is also uh, pretty common so the bush share alike. And if I put over a layer of data, what is the license of the new map uh, if this kind of layer of data is not, uh, um, is not open data? A lot of questions because the problem inside was the problem to have a database, to enforce the copyright of the database. We want only add the database. For this reason, ask it to Open Knowledge Foundation. I am the official ambassador of uh, Italy. Open Knowledge Foundation has created the ODDL, Open Database License. The ODDL is the same of, open, uh, of Creative Commons Attribution share, share Alike, but restricted only for the database right. So you can do what you want, create, adapt, uh, modify, but the restriction is the attribution. You have always to say this software, this data are from OpenStreetMap. Uh, you have uh, always to, to have open. And uh, if you publish the data, you have to publish also the data. <coughs> if you create a map, you have only to send the attribution. So move it, the aspect only to the developer of this file. There is a, but it's always a share alike license. In this day, the um, Agenzia Mobilità of Rome, Roma, this agency, about bus, the tra public transport in Rome, as the problem, uh, started to open the data. And uh, one of the problems was I wanted the road graph of Rome to work. I started to use uh, OpenStreetMap. But the problem is we have to create a new license. It's not possible to use this kind of data. For this reason, the people, uh, the Mobilità uh, Roma, don't want to use uh, OpenStreetMap and start to, uh, to have the um, proprietary data for the Atlas by acquiring the copyright and create what you want. This is a slide from the extension from these people. So, OpenStreetMap and Britannian Public Administration, some story. I am proud to have here uh, Simone Cortese, the guy here in the first line. And uh, we play always with him to say that he starts a movement with the name is uh, the license ad Simone, no? only because uh, he starts to Every time we need data, Simone writes a letter to ask the data and ask for the data for the, the project OpenStreetMap. And uh, there are a lot of public administration involved in this, in this process. For example, Friuli-Venezia Giulia, the uh, Portale Cartografico Nazionale, and in the, the last case, uh, the region Sardinia, about the problem with uh, to help the people to create a map. In most of the cases, the administration don't distribute the data as open data. And uh, if you think it's very funny, because for example, through the answer Julia, there is the license, you can do what you want, but it's not commercial. But uh, Simone, write uh, a letter, ask her, 
and uh, the people of uh, Florence and Julia, ah, oh, no, OpenStreetMap is wonderful. You can use the data, and the data now are open data by using OpenStreetMap. It's not the right sense of the raw data now, because to put the data inside OpenStreetMap, you have to, to change the data. And maybe you lose some, but there is another kind of arrangement later inside OpenStreetMap. And uh, there are, but the, the actions created by Simone are very important because some region like Regione Sardegna or uh, Regione Veneto, these people now understand what is uh, the importance of open data. And now these people want plan to change the data. There are other people a little bit funny, like Portale Cartografico Nazionale, because if you read here, some fast statement, you are selling the data on eBay. Because Simone asked the, ask the, the permission to track the uh, satellite image, and this was a big improvement in the project of the street map in Italy. We changed it, we was in, not in the first position uh, with the best uh, uh, states in Italy, in the world, sorry, but now we are the fourth or five position uh, as the best. And one of the improvements is the use of this kind of picture, uh, this, this kind of uh, data. And uh, it's funny because uh, the people of Portale Cartographico say, you can use, uh, but later say, uh, you don't use because you, say you are selling the data on eBay or other crazy uh, sentences. And uh, we have a lot to work this kind of open data culture to understand what is the benefits, what are the benefits. They, uh, the open data community is very sensible about the problem of the license. And if you want to import data, because you can collect data and put it inside, or use open data and put it inside. There are some guidelines, and you have to respect this kind of license, that uh, kind, kind of guidelines. It's very important to make sure that the license is okay. And the people, is, uh, the people involved in OpenStreetMap are very uh, sensible about the LPR problem. For this reason, I understand some about the LPR problem, about the this right and all that. But it's very nice because, for example, the company Enel, about energy in Italy, after speaking with me, saying, oh, you are right, we open the data, but we want to improve uh, some about our action. It's not only marketing. And start to use the guidelines to import some data inside OpenStreetMap to create a, a relationship together with the OpenStreetMap community and obtain a lot of benefit about it. Lesson learned from Kibera. I like a lot uh, this sentence here. This is Kibera, this place, uh, this land uh, close to Nairobi. Making the invisible visible. Very important. This is uh, uh, one of the important points that you can do with the street map. And what happened? Again, Simone, one day, found an illegal post trash. Pacchino. 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 Subito. By looking the the map, there is this ostra, uh, but it's illegal, and they find it. And maybe we can discuss together about some problem about privacy because today or yesterday I extracted from I extracted from the statement where are the swimming pools? <coughs> Here are public because this is the piscina municipale. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Sorry, <laughs> thank you. But this is all private. I don't know if this is, good, is possible or not possible. But OpenStreetMap can go where the people, where it is not possible. For example, the park administration has some problem to say if a park for a parking lot for uh, handicapped people is privacy or not privacy. And uh, if you are, for example, in uh, the parking place for uh, the, the supermarket, you have some free. But if you are in a private street, uh, is, uh, each, each place uh, is assigned to some people. And for this reason, a public administration says, I can't offer this kind of information. But open stream of people go and say, oh, there's a part that I can put inside of the map. OK. If you need to speak with me, you can contact me by Twitter or by mail. And uh, very important for me now, Trento is uh, part uh, is one of the official node of the Open Data Institute of Tim Berners-Lee. And uh, we are the only one in Italy. And for this reason, I ask the people here in modern Trento to help us to improve uh, the concept of open data here to, to, spread, to con con conquer the Italy. <laughs> Thank you. So we
we are perfectly on time.